Welcome to the hit list. Here are five of our favorite music games. Number five is Amplitude. Number four, Parappa the Rapper. Number three, Res HD. Number two, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. And number one, Rock Band. Welcome back. We've got a great versus for you guys. It's great. It's right. Unreal Tournament 3 for the Xbox 360 this time, going up against Enemy Territory Quake, Quake Wars, Wars, which Which to I me, saw at E3 a few years ago, yeah. and it was like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It was all about the super texture that uh, John Carmack had figured out there. Way to this. go, John. He's what a, happened to that? The big super texture deal was all about having, uh, you know, a lower polygon count to show a huge environment and it not, not chug on you. Yeah. And I think that was done well in enemy territory oh, Quake Warriors. Well, the 360 looks really good environmentally wise, but, but the environments in, in Unreal, Unreal also look, awesome. look incredible. Maybe not all of them are as large as the They're enemy They're Unrealified. Territory, but they are beautiful, and really where Unreal takes the cake visually is in the characters and the and weapon right effects. And right during the beginning, and, man, when it's yeah. like, boom, every, all these explosions, the S is hitting the F, yes. and just going down, dude, your character dies. It's, and then it's, it's time to get in, and then all the sexiness, your character yeah, kind of looks like Marcus Mina. It, it does look amazing. I mean, they, the, the graphics the are faces. as good as Gears of War, and they actually have a trailer for Gears of War 2 on the disc as well, which is kind of cool. A little bonus trailer, kind of a little mini-map action. But. Which is cool. I mean, and you do get five extra maps. You get, uh, you know, a couple of cool, uh, cool uh, sort of winter maps and some more Necro stuff patented, in there. patented, you know, unreal, crazy space maps. I, I don't think that enemy territory looks bad. It just, it looks dated. Uh, graphics, unreal. <laughs> the graphics, yes. Audio. What did you think about the sound in these two games that they stack up? It's, you know... Gotta love the uh, the, the Mortal <laughs> Kombat style, over-the-top stuff that's in Unreal. Killing spree. Double kill. I just love all like, that. Dude, that's what I want. In a, in a game, it's yes. multiplayer and you're killing people, you want to be told you're on a <gasps> killing spree. I, I like the strong uh, wheezing and whining kind of sounds. It's more animated. It's a little bit goofier. It's a little bit more comical. It's how you want your game in to Unreal. Sound. Yeah, but, you know, with enemy territory, they were, I think, not chasing the Unreal stuff as much as the Battlefield. Yeah. They were looking for that kind of thing. It's closer to that. They, it's almost a little bit more realistic. You know, the vehicles well, yeah, I mean, that's sound a little more realistic. Everything sounds a little bit more it's sedated. It's kind of going for the realistic. It's not yeah. going for the unrealistic. Yeah, that's good. You like yeah, that? the unrealistic stuff sounds meta. Yes, it does. All right, so Unreal wins in the audio as well. What about gameplay? Unreal Tournament's kind of like a game show in a way. It is. But you find out there's some like things that bring you back to life, which are a necessity yes. in Unreal games. Yeah. Then you get your capture the flag, your team deathmatch, you get your vehicle capture the flag, you gotta blow up nodes and you're using vehicles and hoverboards, all kinds of awesome stuff. The multiplayer is just super sick. But not really revolutionary. Not not a huge no, jump I mean, from where Unreal was. From, un from the last Unreal that came was, out yeah. on the console, at least because I I mean I don't play I don't play that many games on the PC because yeah. my PC yeah. It's, just, it's just loaded down They haven't slow. changed up the formula. It feels fantastic on the Xbox 360. I preferred the 360 game to the PS3 game, although the PC game? the PC game's still the best. It's still better than both of these. It still feels That's right like the on the PC. the PC game of Quake Wars. Like, they, they had a cool ranking system that was kind of like Call yeah. of Duty. Yes. And then, where is it? On the, where is I it? I know, and they dumbed it down. It's only 16 players in uh, enemy why, territory on the consoles. Why release a game later? And, the and, stuff out of and no single player, no real single player. Yeah. They, they call it a kind of a campaign, but it's really, it's pretty routine. You do learn and some of the specifics. Rough, like, you know, trying to, like, playing on the harder it, difficulty level? It, it's a confusing game. I mean, what that's part I... of the issue with the, these huge maps, which look good. There's no tearing, and they have lots of space to cover and all that. But you also get lost. You also kind of, like, what is my objective? What am I supposed to do? Yeah. You know, when you're putting out enemy territory, you can't just trade on the Quake name. You got to go in and got to over deliver. You know, like, and I don't think like, they did. Just like Unreal did. They yeah. Added stuff, yes. like giving you a little extra. They didn't take anything away. And it looks and it flipping looks phenomenal on the flip 360. Flipping fantastic. Fracking incredible. It's, it's obvious that we both love Unreal better. Deliver. Absolutely. What are you going to give Enemy Territory Quick Wars? 4.5 out of 10. Whoa. You're just hacking into that just, one. 6.5 for me. What about Unreal Tournament 3? 9. 9 for me as well. Fantastic game. So there you go. Two new multiplayer online first-person shooters. Kind of new. They've both been around on different platforms before. But uh, definitely the one to get if you're choosing, whether you have a PS3, Xbox 360 now, or the PC, get Unreal Tournament 3. Today on the show, Jose and I took a look at Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. We waited a long time for this one, but it's been more than worth it. It's packed full of content with things that have never been done before, and it's really the best reason for owning a PlayStation 3. Oh yeah, and Foobs is in one of the opening videos as well. 
Robert Ludlum's The Bourne Conspiracy may not feature Matt Damon, but that's okay because this game is all about the superb hand-to-hand -hand combat, environmental takedowns, and pulls material from the novels as well. Kung Fu Panda, or as we like to call it, Panda Gaiden. The game is rather short, but it's the best of the CGI animated film games with some great moves, cool combos, and tight controls. SingStar has an awesome community and the audio quality of the mics is great, but you need to buy extra songs and it just doesn't hold up to more recent music titles like Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Today in Versus, we took a look at Enemy Territory Quake Wars. This one was a somewhat more realistic game, but it looks dated and is missing a bunch of features from the PC version. We looked at that one against Unreal Tournament 3, which looks amazing, features plenty of gameplay modes, and has some cool new maps. However, the PC version is still the one that reigns. Four years in the making and it was all worth it as Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots becomes the Rogers Video Game of the Week, and maybe the year. It was a pretty that good pretty debut. Uh, it was 2005. That's, that's like three years. Yeah, it was three. Good good on the math. Yeah. Now you've been working to, I, on I, that. I took the that's eight all, and I subtracted that's, five. That's awesome. So uh, the remedial school thing is working three. for you? Three. There you go. <laughs>